Turns out this guy is really strong. Welcome back to The Division. Hello everyone, my name is Pixelrefs, welcome back to the Division SMP sub. It has been a while again. <laughs> I feel really bad, I feel like I keep making these promises to make videos and then I end up getting sidetracked by real life stuff. But I am back on the server, no real plans for the foreseeable future, so I'm going to be doing a lot of recording on this server. And today's mission, ladies and gents, is going to be to find us some diamonds, because I'm pretty certain, give or take the fact that my armor and tools and everything is made out of them, that I am fresh out of diamonds, and there is going to be a very good reason to get diamonds in the near future. So I've been doing a little bit of remodeling around the temple. I built a tree and stuff. There's not a great deal to recap from stuff that's happened off camera because, of course, I've been away and I only managed to do a little bit on the server before I left. So I've got emeralds, I've got some diamond boots, I've got my ice skates, but I do not have myself any diamonds as far as I can recall just lying around in a chest somewhere. I will travel back to Spawn Town just to make sure that I don't have any left in my chests over there, but there are a couple of reasons for this, the first of which we might even be able to visit on the way. Land ho and ship ahoy. There it is, folks. I frost walked most of the way there, but I had to mess with my recording settings a little bit and <laughs> had to swim the rest of the way. This is Loy XP's pirate town. And oh, I'm going to see if we can get hooked. Yes, we can. We climbed up the fishing rod. That's actually quite a neat way of getting to shore. Welcome to the shantytown, and goodness me, it has changed a little bit since this video. I hope I'm not spoiling too much by making this. The skull is particularly epic, I have to say, and there are a few new shops popping up. This is Loy's personal business venture on the server, and the way that he single-handedly will take all of our diamonds. This... <laughs> This is an excellent, excellent place. Obviously, Zloy, if you haven't been watching his series, you need to freaking go and check him out. He has been messing around with chisels and bits more or less non-stop. That isn't even a working door. That is how fooled I was by that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what he's planning on doing with any of this. Presumably not all that much. The real business is over here, and he's kind of advertising it with the whole Five Nights at Freddy's shtick. He is a fan of that. But wow, this right here for payment. Somebody's already paid him five diamonds. Five diamonds each for these little models. He's been making scale models, kind of, well not exactly scale models, he's been making plush representations of Minecraft mobs and, and he calls these bootleg kind of designs because they're not like official Mojang merchandise or whatever, but these are freaking adorable. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Where is it? Put, put, him, put him down the right direction. I can't really tell which way this guy's actually facing. Uh, he's facing that way. <laughs> That's a really weird direction for him to be facing. Let's try that one more time. Uh, oh, I can rotate him. That's that's a good point. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful work. Like, the guy is slightly mind-blowing with his chisels and bits stuff right now. I'm not sure how he's doing it. Also, it's, it's put it back in the rotated way, which is wrong. So let's see if we can rotate it better. Nope, still no. Okay, fine. It's going to be left like that. <laughs> it's going to stay like that. Maybe he had the same problem. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a derp. But five diamonds each, so I need these in my life, you guys. I really, really want some of these to decorate pretty much every build I make, but probably the the water mill back at spawn to start off with, and then we'll figure out where I'm going to be spending the rest of my time. This is apparently for sale, haha ha, with the pun, and you can't get in there. <laughs> so, so maybe he's planning on letting this out to somebody, maybe it's just meant to be a bit of a joke, but this, a bar, that's, that's hilarious. This is, uh, oh, potion brewing, oh, fantastic, good, because yeah, he hasn't really shown this on camera yet, so I'm kind of spoiling it for you guys, but he'll explain, I'm sure you'll get to see him build this in more detail, and it will be glorious. Go and check out his channel if you haven't already, you are missing out, you guys. So this is amazing, and this is where I want to be spending a lot of my diamonds. Uh, but I also want to do a little bit of this myself, because if you watched episode sle uh, ep episode 11, if you watched episode 7 of Zloy's series, and if you haven't, go and check that out immediately, because he starts this place off and explains the whole idea for the, the plushy shop. He's found some tools in chisels and bits, or rather in the extra bits mod. If I type bit, it's going to come up with it. There, there are these modeling tools, and this thing 
is a freaking game changer because what that does is it actually allows you to create scale models of stuff in the world just by clicking a button and then obviously having the correct bits for the model in your inventory. So yeah, what, what I'm planning on doing, he started doing this in his episode, but he thought maybe that was a little bit too much, is making a scale model of the Nether Hub. Now, of all the things I've built on this server so far, I am actually the most proud of the Nether Hub. I think it's kind of grown into something really fantastic and it's still going to keep growing, but I would love to be able to create a scale model of it as it currently exists because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a great deal more design on this. My life has been kind of hectic. I kind of want to move on to other projects. I will keep tinkering with it, but a scale model of it as it is right now would at least be a nice proof of concept. And for that, I need to make myself another chisel because my chisel has mysteriously gone missing. I don't know exactly where it ended up, and I have a feeling I probably just left it in a chest at spawn, or maybe I threw it out when I was working on some other stuff. I just kind of idly tossed it on the floor and then it never got returned to my inventory and it despawned or something. But for that, I need myself a diamond, and I don't think I have any diamonds in storage around here. My chisel certainly isn't there, so we're going to have to head back to Spawn Town and see if I can find it at all. But if not, I will need myself another diamond. But either way, I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit of mining around the Blazepunk Town to begin with. <laughs> Hi, I am Igor. I'm lost. Please take me to the green stupid one. Uh, <laughs> not entirely sure who the green stupid one is. I'm going to assume Zloy. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's a little bit... Oh, camera drone. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so people have been doing stuff on this server. If you have not seen Mojo Beast's episode, he made himself a camera drone, which is essentially a fancy way of saying, look, I'm using the replay mod now, but it's a very, very neat idea. I like it a lot. And yeah, having this as a, as a replay mod kind of item, as though a camera is flying around and recording what you do, very, very neat idea. I like it a lot. So... My armor stand's gone. That's weird. wonder where that went. So yeah, I'm going to check around here, but I don't think anything... I don't think we'll be able to find anything, but I, I want to I wanna have my scale model of the nether hub up here. Somebody has left my back door open. It was probably me. I need to do something with this room other than just grow nether wart in here, because I, I kind of want to do something interesting with the decor in here. I don't want it to just be a utility room, you know what I mean? I, I've been in and out of there a little bit, especially when the magma cube was in here and had blocked my door off, and I kind of want to... Is this all open? Has somebody blown this up? Dang it. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of remodeling, but yeah, I want to have plushies and stuff in here. I want to have, like, little... That looks like a freaking Star Wars model. It's the best. I kind of want to have a few things going on in here, and so... Yeah, I'm gonna need some diamonds, because I need to pay Zloy for stuff. I want to make my scale model of the Nether and put it upstairs. There's going to be a whole lot going on in here. Yes, okay, we have two diamonds. Fantastic. So I can actually make myself a new chisel now. <laughs> Got a wooden wrench in here as well, but we we need more diamonds than that. We need many more diamonds than that so that we can we can get ourselves a scale model of anything. The the these things they kind of need uh yeah, modeling tool head. I make that with diamond nuggets which I need to make just from a diamond. So if I if I break that up like so. Okay, we've got diamond nugget. Now, 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 now. We need, we need one of these. So a modeling tool head like so. Like so. Wow, okay. This is, this is brand new crafting, folks. New crafting is happening right before your eyes. Let me grab some more wood out of here. Everything is kind of in disarray in these chests. I really need to get some sorting stuff on the go. And there is a sorting mod, kind of, I think it's part of Quark, the button allows you to sort stuff, but it's absolutely not the way I would sort stuff. So I really haven't, I've been trying not to use that where possible. So is that, hang on. I didn't even look at how to, how to create this in the first place. Is it like that? How do you make this thing? Oh, is it with iron? Okay, my bad. My bad. I'm here making sticks <laughs> like it's a regular tool. Let me see what I can drum up in terms of iron. I found it. I found my diamond chisel. I thought I'd lost it, but it was there. Okay, so we actually have a chisel as well, which is kind of useful. I've been needing to get myself a hands on a chisel for a while. So yeah, I just left that in a chest somewhere. That's, of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> Absent-minded bumbling picks is his usual self, surprising no one. And with nine ingot and this thing, now we have ourselves a modeling tool. And now you guys will see the power of this. So if you, let me take a look at the controls real quick. Hold control for the controls and left click makes the model. And this is kind of weird in that there are a few blocks in here it doesn't recognize. So obviously all of the stuff on the front and the wheel and the, the modded 
chiseled blocks that I've made. It doesn't really recognize those as proper blocks, but everything else in this model is just so freaking detailed. It's insane, and I would need quite a few resources to be able to pull this one off, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And yes, this that's lava, I guess. I just need to find some of that, and there's oak planks manually mapped. There's water in there as well, and yeah, it can't... The block state for this is currently mapped to nothing, as it cannot be chiseled. We have reached the limits of the level of detail, but this is not what I want to do. This is not the the thing I want to model, even though I'm really proud of the watermill build. In general, what we want to model is the nether hub, my friends. And let's left click here and see what we get. And oh my gosh, that model, that's, that's so, so incredible, right? I mean, obviously some of the blocks it's not quite recognizing. It's got a ton of nether rack under here and you can kind of see there's a little bit of stuff built down here. The beacon is down there and so forth. But yeah, it's not recognizing the fact that we have slabs around here and it can't map the slabs to anything. So we would probably have to dig out and remodel a few things about the nether hub ourselves. It, either remodel the nether hub or remodel this model specifically. So so maybe a scale model of the nether hub is not what we're after at all, but to be honest, I would kind of like it still. It does look really, really cool. So I'd need to collect a bunch of bits from these blocks, and if we could get the glass and stuff in as well, that would be immense. I would love that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. That's that's pretty incredible. Having the flames on top and everything. Okay, we have to do this. We have to do I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't care. It is happening this episode, folks. We are going to make this happen. There's portal, purple stained glass we need for that. So we need a lot of different bits. We've <laughs> it's not going to map the iron bars to anything obviously, but yeah. I need myself a scale model of this. I'm sorry, it's going to happen. It's going to be time consuming. It's not going to look quite right, but it's going to be really cool at the same time. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, you can actually change these. <gasps> That's different. Okay, right. Okay, we, we are on this. We are totally 100% on this now. I can't believe that. I didn't realize at first that, yeah, you can, you can tell it what this stuff is. So when it says this isn't mapped to anything, you can tell it what to put there. Oh my gosh. Control click with empty cursor to remove mapping. Uh, click blocks in creative mode to get a stack. So right now that's mapped to empty air, so that would produce nothing. You could modify models like that so easily. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I can see why Zloy goes handbone for this stuff. This is immense. Okay, right, so let me grab myself a red nether brick block, which we should have around here somewhere. I forget exactly where I ended up storing everything. I think it's probably still over by the chests over here. Because, yeah, I, I kept the materials and stuff around. You guys know I did, because this stuff is still a work in progress but if I pop one of those down and bam if I grab a bit of that and let's let's how do I alt there we go uh share same material there we go bam absolute ton of nether brick bits that's all going in there so now if we do the modeling tool again if we bring that back in and left click and it's like what's a red nether brick slab wherever that ended up here if I drag a nether brick bit into there now it knows how to map it and now it looks freaking incredible. Okay, we are in business. We are absolutely in business. I just changed a mode thing. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, folks. We will do this. We are absolutely going to do this. I'm so excited. Let's get on that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. This, this is incredible. Uh, I don't know where to begin. I've got the entire... <laughs> nether hub model it's in my it's in my inventory like a freaking jigsaw we need to put this thing together right now i don't even know where to start i think i'm probably gonna have to there's actually a piece like right here that's so weird i'm gonna have to move some of this some of this stuff but like look at this for a start look at this uh i think i can probably start it here Oh, goodness, right. All right, which is this piece going to fit? Is this fitting here? No, apparently it's not. Is that one going to fit there? Looks like it does, I think. Oh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Taking this whole thing apart and putting it back together piece by piece is going to be very, very weird. All right, uh, I think that might be on this side, maybe. I think that side there and then this, this piece here, like, goes... At the back, there's there were like a couple of pieces that were just there on the corners like that. And oh gosh, you can see it coming together though, right? This is just freaking immense. I have no idea how this is a thing, but it's a thing. 
Uh, right, uh, what's next? What on earth is next? It's like putting together one of those jigsaw puzzles that's like 50,000 pieces and I don't even know which order they go in. I think it's this side and then... Oh, no, no, no. This is so, so freaking weird. I can't, I can't make head or tail of it. It's, it's absolutely bizarre. That clearly doesn't go there because then that should be on that side like that. No, no, no. Okay, right. This is, this is going to be very strange. And there's not really a great deal to distinguish which entrance is which either. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I imagined, I think. Yes, yes, that's looking good. That's looking right. Okay, so that's the that's the red side headed out that way. Wait, but no, there's a green bit there and a yellow bit there. Is that right? That's surely that's the other way round. We're getting there slowly but surely. I tried to dismantle this in I built it all in the Nether, basically, like in the Nether Hub at the time. So I had a frame of reference for everything and I was just building it in one place. And I tried my best to build it all like to, to destroy it all sequentially so that way when I put it back together it would kind of come together in the right shape. I'm gonna have to have a better like presentational table for this or something but oh my gosh. This is it, this is it, the last piece has fallen into place. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely freaking incredible. I cannot believe this. This also looks really out of place in this room, but I don't even care. <gasps> oh my days. What have I done? What have I created? Some of this, I'll be honest with you guys, some of this isn't even accurate. Like the bits in the middle, those should be made of obsidian, but I didn't have obsidian chisels and bits stuff on me. But I do not even care. What? The heck, you guys, this is, this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen, and I'm not even kidding, I can't, I can't contain how ridiculously excited I am about this. Like, you can take out the middle piece, too, like, you can take out pieces like this and just have them on their own, and just look at this, just look at that on its own, on its own, that's just ridiculous, but oh my days. I never believed that anything like this could ever be possible, <laughs> and yet here it is. Here we stand in a model of the nether hub I made, and that thing is massive, and this is like, I guess because it's chisels and bits and it takes it down to like the 16th of a pixel, it is a 1 to 16 scale model of the nether hub. I... <laughs> I actually can't believe this. And obviously it's missing the really high walls and the extra bits kind of from the pillars connecting to the corners, but I don't want to put that stuff in. That's just way too much effort at this point. <laughs> but oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, I have no words at this point. This is just so, so far out there. Oh man. Right, now... <laughs> Now we've got this out of the way. Now this ridiculous piece has been assembled here. I have to figure out some kind of better presentation thing for this, but that's going to have to come another time. I need to go mining for diamonds so I can go <laughs> buy some of Zloy's creations. I will see you guys in a bit. What on earth, guys? What on earth? Hi, me hearties. We be back here in the pirate town to pick us up some booty. <laughs> We're back at Zloy XP's pet shop. Pet shop? What am I talking about? Toy shop. Hopefully these things aren't pets. I'm not sure I want a tiny spider crawling around. I have bad enough problems with cave spiders as it is. <laughs> but here we are. We have ourselves some diamonds. Quite a few, as it turns out. It's very, very easy to acquire diamonds on the server, what with vein miner and everything. So we have a pretty hefty budget to play around with, and these guys are five diamonds each. Now, I definitely want the Slime Creeper, first of all, because this guy super cute. I like him a lot, and Zloob was having trouble deciding whether he wanted to make Slime Creepers or Creepers made out of bamboo blocks, and the, the bamboo block texture, I think, makes more sense for a Creeper, but even so, the Slime one looks more like a toy, so that's why I'm going with that. I'm going to get one of those, so that's five diamonds for that one, but to set those aside just in case I forget, and... I think the slime is pretty cute, but I had a pet slime for a little while. It didn't work out so well. The spiders, I'm going to be honest, those are kind of adorable, despite my <laughs> my slight problem with spiders in general. I'm going to take this one. I think this one, because it's the blockier of the two, it's kind of, 
it's got like a web thing going on. That's that's super cute. I, I like it a lot. And that actually looks like a plushie that you would have on the shelf at home or something like that. So I'm going to grab that. Guardian Guardian plushie. I'm not sure about the Guardian plushie. I kind of want the... Oh, rip. <laughs> Denature is on the server as well, hanging out. I'm not entirely sure where he is, but he's around. I think I want the Guardian as well, because let's be real, Guardians, in this form at least, kind of adorable. I think we're probably going to going to put that on the shelf in the mill somewhere because I had guardians around the mill for a little while before we've actually turned off guardian spawning in open water now so that won't happen so much anymore and last but not least I think that zombie that zombie has to come with us because this is really adorable it's got wonky teeth it's got an exposed brain kind of an awesome model so that's going to be 20 diamonds for Zloy XP and this is how he's going to be taking everybody's money on the server for a while. I almost took the diamonds out of there for a second, but there you go, Zloy. Thank you so much for setting up this shop. It's pretty adorable, and I'm going to have a lot of fun decorating my houses with some more of these plushies when he decides to make more of them. But that's going to do it for today, folks. I'm going to sign out in front of Zloy's shop because it makes things look good. Thank you very much for watching The Division. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to check out everybody else's channels that are on the server. Links will be in the video description. Have yourselves a nice day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.